But after World War II, as you just heard, um, suburban opportunities expanded for white homeowners on the west side. At the same time, the city's color line, pushed by an expanding inner city black population and pulled by unscrupulous real estate blockbusters um, who prey on white racism and black aspiration for decent housing, housing excuse me, is westward. And by the 1960s, early 1960s, um, the neighborhoods clustered around the West End parks were becoming, and Rosemont's case had become, mostly black. And as Baltimore grew, grew blacker, highway builders grew more popular. Um, in 1961, a group of engineers who called themselves the Expressway Consultants came up with a comprehensive plan for two highways and a harbor crossing that they called the 10D alignment. This is one of, again, lots and lots of different plans, all of them sort of confusingly named. Um, but this is the 10D. It entered the city through Leaking Park in the West and connected with that old Moses Road by barging right through Rosemont. So like Moses and like other highway plan planners before them, the expressway consultants were sticking to this idea that their route was going to sort of snake from slum to slum. Um, and so you're going to trade you know, crumbling old neighborhoods for ribbons of pristine you know, blacktop, right? Um, 